Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen turtle module. What is turtle module? What is turtle graphics and how to use it, right? The basic functions we have used like move the turtle forward, backward, turn it to left, right with an angle, specified angle and how to control the speed of the turtle, these kind of things, right? That was introduction video, right? Now in that video we haven't used object oriented approach. Right now, in th that case, we have only one turtle, unnamed turtle object. Right, but now I want on the single screen, the one screen only, I want two turtle, three turtle, four turtle, more than one turtle. I want then you have to create turtles. Right, means basically, I want to say we will create turtle objects. Right, for that, obviously, we need a class, and in turtle module, we have a class turtle, but T capital. Right, so we can create as many turtle objects as we want. So this is kind of uh, we will be using object oriented approach in this video, right? And that is definitely more powerful. And whatever the functions in the turtle that would be here in object oriented programming approach that would be like methods of a turtle object, right? Like forward, backward. These would be acted as methods of a turtle object. Now let's see how to create turtle objects and few th new things we will see like how to set color, how to draw some shapes and how to fill color into that shapes, these kind of things, right? So let's see now. Let's create a new file and that would be turtle2, right? Dot .py, let's name it turtle2.py. Now first I'll show you how to import the turtle. We have seen this method like import turtle, the name of the module right okay this is fine but now if you want to create object then obviously in this turtle module we have a class turtle right so now how to use an object uh, how to create an object just the object name suppose i'm taking object name any name like abc equal to turtle the name of the class the name of the class is this turtle with T capital, but directly we cannot use this. If you want to use any name, any name, any class name, any function name, method name or anything, any property name, which is in this module, then first of all, you have to write down the module name, turtle, then dot, then whatever thing you want to use, then you can use. So this is one way, right? This is how we can use. Now I want to create more object like X, Y, Z xyz equal to same thing you need to write down like turtle dot class name is capital T turtle with capital T like this right one way is this next way is directly we can use from method from here we can use like from module name is turtle and import directly the class turtle in this case, no need to write down this name of the module because directly we have imported the class. So no need to write down this turtle turtle. If you write down this, it will give error. See, I'll show you. The name turtle is not defined. This small t. Because we haven't imported turtle module. From turtle, we have imported specific class turtle. So all the methods, everything within this class would be imported, right? So here in this case, I think this is easy way, right? If you want to create more than, you know, like 10, 15 objects, or you want to use many methods from this turtle library, then rather than using again turtle dot, turtle dot, just import the specific thing, right? One more thing is, see, let me just show you one more thing, which is from, turtle import everything everything means star right so here if you create a turtle then obviously like abc is equal to turtle class name this is the way but in this case if you want to move a turtle forward then you don't need to write down the turtle name dot forward simply you can write down the function name forward and distance is suppose 100 right let me just run this and show you okay you have to first 
to hold the screen we will use what exit on click method let's run this and see right but the problem in this case is what if you don't know like these these two lines are here here so by looking at these lines can you just tell me what is this forward what is this forward you know we are using this forward for what purpose i don't know by just looking on this because it is not at all expressive so that would be a little bit difficult for us if any other person is going to read our code then for him or her it would be difficult to find out this forward is for what i don't know i'm using turtle library or not i don't know right so better to use rather than writing this either this thing because yeah now i know now directly if you write down forward it will give you error let's run this and see name forward is not defined so forward abc suppose total name abc dot forward and here we can write down this kind of thing so see right now we know if we know like abc is a turtle then we know like this abc is like this forward is for moving the turtle forward right but still a lot more expressive ways rather than this just use import this kind of thing like this we use import the module name then abc is equal to module name dot whatever you want to use so if you want to import more than one module and if in all the two or three modules suppose you are importing two module and in both the modules one function is same having name any name like like display right so now how to you and you are calling both the functions in your program display display so better to write down the module name first like module 1 dot display module 2 dot display so it would be easy for you to identify this displays from module 1 this displays from module 2 right so this 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 kind of thing this approach is a lot more expressive so better to use this approach if you can right okay now if suppose alias name if you want to import give another alias name to this module so we can import like import module name as alias name alias name suppose i'm taking like t so rather than this turtle now we simply use here t that is also fine this will work fine right so just this is an alias name this thing we uh, generally use when we have a long module name right it's so like turtle maybe abc or maybe underscore some some kind of name we have like a very long module name we have so rather than writing that module module name again and again in our program just use an alias a short name for that module right so you can use a short name in your program like here we have used t t dot turtle not we are not using turtle right so this is some you can say ways of importing the module different different ways right now let me show you now we have this code let's give a meaningful name here and maybe tone as equal to one turtle so here obviously the name of the turtle is tone then what this line means first let's run this and i'll show you what is happening here See, we are moving the turtle forward by 100 pixels. Okay, you are getting fine. No, no, it's working fine. So, what is happening in this code? We have imported turtle class, just created a turtle object tom. We are moving this forward. Then, to hold that screen, what we are using? The module name dot screen dot main loop. Now, what does this line mean? So, here, this tom dot screen, this is an instance of a screen class. Right? We have a class here that is screen. If you want to create your own screen, then also you can create like S1 equal to just name of the class screen. That's it. Right? Now, in this case, if you have created your screen, so rather than writing this line, we can simply use the screen object dot either main loop or exit on click. This is also fine. But what does this line mean? 
I haven't created any screen object, but directly in this line, it will create tom dot screen means it will create a. I'm not creating a screen object explicitly. Tom dot screen is a instance of the screen class on which the turtle object exists. And this is created. The screen is created automatically when you create turtle object. You don't need to create screen explicitly. It would be created automatically when you create turtle, right? And it just we are creating a screen object to to you know call some methods on that screen object. This main loop in Python three. This main loop is a method. Let me just show you. If you want to check out, you can just go to the Python documentation. Here we have turtle Python documentation, and here we have see main loop. I am going to show you what this. What does this mean? See, it's basically a screen method or screen event main loop, right? It go, it is going to start the event loop, and it is it is going to call like tk enter main loop function. So this screen method implies that the window or the screen is not going to terminate automatically until the user exists on that screen, right? And this event would be, you can say, like it gets called whenever the program starts executing, right? So I just that that is why I was saying, like to all the screen, you can use this method. You can call this method main loop, right? It would not be going to close the terminate or close the screen automatically if you call this method, fine? Or we have another method also done. But as I have told you, this is a screen method, main loop, right? So obviously we are creating a screen object, and then we call main loop, right? Can I call this on this tom dot main loop? Let's run this. See, this turtle object has no attribute main loop. This tom is turtle object, and this is not having any main loop method, right? This main loop method is for screen it is screen method so to call this method you have to create object of a screen so that's why i'm using like tom dot screen it will create a screen object right or second way i have also told you like just create screen object s1 and s1 dot exit on click or you can write down here s1 dot main loop this is also here right let's just comment out this thing and it will work fine so see there are multiple ways of doing one thing here i'm just trying my best to tell you every possible way but you have to explore these thing now let's use color we have two thing like we have method pen color fill color and one is color first we'll use pen color actually right so let's create screen object we have created turtle object we have created right now i'm going to change the color of i'm going to change the pen color right so tom dot we have a color pen color and just give here like maybe i'm uh, giving red or first let's just change the shape as well just to you know get a feeling of using turtle graphics shape to turtle let's run this and see Pen color means the outside boundary of the turtle is now red. Otherwise, it's black, right? So, and if I use, let me just show you first what the pen color means. Here we have in Python documentation, just go to pen color, and it will accept variable arguments. See, asterisk, arcs, right? It is going to reset or set the pen color. If you use simply the pen color, this. Function, then it will return the current pen color. Let me just show you. If I use simply, if I print for this object, what is the pen color? Let's run this and see. It will print the pen color is red because we have changed the color to red. And by default, it was black, right? And you can see like pen color. And in bracket you can give any color string. So this will set the pen color to whatever string you will give. Now, but what color we can give? Like red, green, pink. We don't know how many colors. How would I know? So see, this is going to 
which is a TK color specification string. So basically it is using the TK color specification, right? Such as red, yellow and or in this format also like RGB format also we can give the color. So let's just search this. What is this TK color specification? Just first click on the first thing and see. These are the name of the colors with their RGB value as you can see here. So these many colors you can write down. Right from here you can take any color you can pick any color or you can take any this RGB configuration this also you can write down. Right. So I hope you got now the list of the colors you can use. Right. Now one more thing is we have a fill color as well tom dot fill color see as you can see fill color and they're also same like I'm giving uh, here pink or rather than pink just give like maybe green let's run this see now outside the boundary of the turtle the pen color is red but inside fill color is what this is green if you want to check out what is this fill color then we have see the fill color it, it is going to return or set the fill color so in the in these four input format we can use this fill color we can give the color string or we can give the rgb combination or we can use it like this also it is going to return whatever the fill color is right so you have to use these things now let's come to a we have a color method as well so tom dot simple color and here i'm using suppose red just comment out these two lines and let's see the difference let's comment out these two lines and simply i'm using color right and just delete this line also color is red let's run this see the color of this turtle is now red and red one more i'm giving like green so let's run this so this output is same as we have used these two lines or maybe maybe you are thinking now the line because we have changed the pen color right but this line is still black why so the problem is see i forgot to tell you this thing first we have forwarded this turtle 100 pixels and then we are changing the colors right so the exact let's just comment out this thing and just tom dot pen color is red but you have to use this before moving the turtle forward then only you will get red line see now you are getting red line right i hope I, I'm, I'm sure you will be having this doubt definitely in your mind like why we have changed the pen color definitely if you have a red pen whatever you will write that would be in red now right but i have changed the pen color to red but still that line was black this was the reason right because we have moved the turtle first forward 100 pixels then we were changing the color so first change the pen color then move the uh, you can say turtle right so let's let's uh, write down this line also here before this thing and let's run this again see red pen color is red outside outside boundary of the turtle is red the line or whatever shape you will draw would be in red and the fill color is green right now rather than these two lines we have one method color which will do the task of both pen color and fill color so tom dot color let me just show you in documentation what is this color see it will return a, or set pen color and fill color so first thing see color the, uh, if you write down simply the color and what, nothing you will write here then it will return the current pen color and current fill color as a pair of color combination color specification string as a, you know or tuples as returned by pen color and fill color so rather than using pen color fill color different different two methods just use color the first would be pen color the second whatever you will write the color that would be fill color first pen color second argument second color would be fill color right if i have a shape like i want to draw a circle i want to fill that circle with a red color 
but I want to fill that shape. So first let's create a circle. What is the we have used what is the method circle and there suppose give 100 this is the uh, what uh, radius I want to give. So rather than moving this circle forward Let's run this. See. So see this is the pen color is red. So boundary is red. Turtle fill color is green. So turtle within turtle we have green. But I want to fill the circle as well. Whatever shape I will create. I want to fill that shape also. I want to fill that shape with green color. Or pink color suppose. Right. Or black color. So for that also we have two things. Begin fill and end fill. So whenever you create a shape. Before creating the shape, you have to call begin fill, right? Then just create the shape and after creating the shape, just call end fill. These two things we have. Let's run this. See. Because fill color is, why this green? Because fill color is green, pen color is red, fill color is green. That is why circle is green right if I change the fill color to like we can say pink let's run this see the boundary was red and this is pink fill color is pink this is how you can fill the shape begin fill and fill so th these thing also you can see here begin fill to be just called before drawing a shape and fill the shape drawn after the lowest, last call to begin fill right so see you can see that here the example as well right okay now i want to you know we have one more thing also pen up and down that these things are also important so after creating this circle i want to create one more circle right so one circle first after ending the circle, I want to move this Tom object forward with or you can say down with 100 steps or 100 pixels. So first you have to turn that head of the turtle to right, right with 90 degree. So Tom dot right or RT angle is 90 degree, right? Now I just want to move this Tom in that direction only forward like uh, 100, 100 pixels. Let's run this and see what we are getting. Okay, here I want to draw one more circle. But, okay, let's draw first. Then I'll show you. Let's take this green only. Because the combination of red and pink is not looking good. Ah, yes. So let's create one more circle here. Tom dot circle or any other square or any other shape also you can create a circle is like it's easy to create a circle that is why I'm taking this example so circle 50 let's run this right the circle is of radius 50 this is of 100 right so from here this is 50 it will take and it will it is going to draw right but this line, I don't want this line here. But whenever you move this turtle forward, definitely it is going to draw. So what we can see, see when you, you know, going to up your pen on this, like I'm writing something. When I'm going to pull up my pen and I'm just moving forward. So definitely it is not going to draw a line. And then to draw a line, you have to put your pen down and then draw. Right. So same thing, same method we have. Pen up, pen down here. So what we can do after turning to the right 90 degree, first we can just do pen up. So we have a method tom dot pen up. Right. Then move this 100 pixel, then pen down. Because obviously to draw a circle, you have to down your pen on the paper so same pen down pen down and then draw the circle let's run this now see the difference here right 
so this also we have like pen up and pen down here you can check out see we have the pen control pen down pd or down you can use pull the pen down it would be drawing while moving for pen up we can use either pen up or simply pu or simply up right pulls the pen up and no drawing while moving right you can change pen size as well right just have to give the width with a positive number so it is going to obviously set the thickness it is going to increase the thickness of the pen if if you uh, just after drawing this circle then before moving this second circle i want to increase the size so pen size just give the width suppose i am giving 10 i don't know how it is going to you know look see pen size it's going to you know increase the thickness here whatever you will give right so you can change the pen size as well now your assignment is you have to fill the second circle as well but you have to fill that second circle with orange color right so this is your assignment you have to write down this thing in comment section that logic right okay now if if uh, the thing is supposed i want to change the size I, I want to move our turtle any specific position to any specific position so for that we have a function go to method go to a method go to or you can use go to or you can write here set post or you can write here set position and you have to give this coordinate x y coordinate x can be a simple simple number or a pair of number or y can be a number or nothing if you don't give any y coordinate then x must be a pair of two coordinate right let's run this and uh, first let's find out after drawing the second circle let's find out the position x y coordinate of our turtle so how to find out we have a method pos or position either you can use pos or position simply i'm using pos so i'm going to print whatever the position of my turtle let's run this after drawing the second circle see the position is 0 0 first x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate is minus 100 i hope you got by default the, uh, the that uh, we can say turtle is here and this coordinate in the center is x is 0 y is 0 right now still now we have moved from here to here so obviously x is still 0 but horizontal axis is x and this vertical is y so towards upward it's positive y downwards is negative y so we have moved negative towards negative y direction how many steps 100 pixel right so that is why this y is negative if you want want to move this turtle directly to anywhere so obviously we can move we i have told you some method like uh, dot go to go to i want to move this to uh, x is negative minus 100 y would be same minus 100 both minus 100 minus 100 let's run this and see what you are getting So x is minus 100 so it is a horizontal line towards this side it was plus but towards this side it is minus x so we have moved minus 100 and y is minus 100 so y is same minus 100 I hope you are aware about the coordinate system x y kind of thing right see this we have this horizontal this is x and this this is vertical is y so if you move in this direction means this is positive x this direction is negative x right this is positive y and this direction is negative y so this is x this is y i hope you got a little bit of this coordinate system you have a knowledge of this thing right and also we have show turtle and hide turtle method if you want to hide your turtle obviously we have this thing so after you know completing the first circle before drawing the second circle right i just want to hide my turtle so just call this hide turtle that's it 
let's run this and I'll show you what has happened. So first circle it is showing the total while creating second circle the turtle was invisible so we have hit the turtle right now see there is no turtle on the screen if you want to show then simply you can use here after high turtle after this go to simply here at last i want to show where is my turtle so i want to just i just call this thing show turtle that's it see you can see the difference here no turtle and at last it is going to show the turtle right now if you want to check like the turtle is the pen down is not right then obviously if there is a big application and before drawing something you want to check out like the pen is down or not because if pen is not down then obviously you can't create any shape so there for that also we have a method so see if after pen down if after pen up you want to check tom dot is down simply so it will return true if the pen is down otherwise it will return false so what do you think what here it will return let me know in comment section let's run this see false it is returning false because after pen up obviously is down means pen was not down so it is returning false and then if rather than here after pen down if you want to print if you want to check is this down or not pen down or not so for that definitely it will return true see it is going to return true right and the turtle is visible or not if you want to check then there is also a method is visible right so after hiding turtle if you call tom dot is visible this method then definitely it is going to print false because you have hit the turtle print it is visible or not so definitely it will print false and see it is returning false because after hiding the turtle here hide turtle after that i am using is visible or not or definitely it's not visible so it is going to show if turtle is visible if not hidden then it will turn true if it is hidden then it will return false so these are some you can say few um, very common methods will be using there are many methods that you can go to the python documentation and you can go and search and you just try out different different methods okay so one assignment for you is you have to draw these shapes here like a circle then a square then in, the, the, in this corner triangle and in this corner it's a pentagon with different different colors yellow red green and sky blue fine so this is for your assignment you have to do this and okay you can just write down that thing that code in comment section right or you can just send me on my instagram account as a message the code fine so now i guess that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next tutorial then bye Take care.